in this video i'm going to be showing you how to put your design onto a real life model using adobe photoshop welcome back to the channel my name is c jam and as i mentioned we're going to be putting our design onto a t-shirt that's being worn by a real life model we've put a design on a t-shirt before which is just the t-shirt but what if you want to show your t-shirt or your design being modeled by a real model right and you just don't have access to anyone who can model your shirts for you well this is a cool method to actually use real life models to promote your designs and the photos that we're going to be using are from some mock-ups and the mock-ups that we're using we got from Envato Elements. Now, Envato Elements is the sponsor of this video, but we'll speak a little bit more about them later on. So let's go ahead and jump into Photoshop. So here I am in Adobe Photoshop and the cool thing about this t-shirt mock-up pack that we got, it gives you three different looks, right? So we have this model right here in a gray t-shirt and you can change the color of this shirt. We have this other model right here in a studio. We can just slap our design onto the model shirt anywhere we want. And then we have this final model right here sitting on a couch and we can literally put our own design onto these t-shirts and it's going to look very very real and that's what we're going to be doing right so if you notice here over in your layers right you can see it says your design here no this is a smart object right all you have to do is double click on it to edit it and below that in your layers you have some controls that you can edit like t-shirt color right if you come down here you see it says change color if you double click on this color fill you can just change the color and you can see that the t-shirt color is being changed right so you can change it to whatever color you want we're not going to be doing that today all we're going to be doing is just slapping our design onto these t-shirts and see how it looks so if i were to go ahead and just double click your design here the smart object you'll notice that you get an outline of the t-shirt just a kind of guide as to where to place your design right so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go ahead and drag in one of my t-shirt designs and then let's see how it looks right so i'm just going to go ahead and find that on my computer here it is this is my graphic designer um t-shirt design as you know i have these shirts for sale in my store you can check the link in this video's description and I just sized it down and I want it about there. Let me go ahead and press enter. Now, because this is a smart object, right? The one that we double clicked to get the changes to reflect on our project here on the model, we have to save the changes that we did in the smart object, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit Control and S to save. And then if I go back to my photo with my model, well, it's working right now, it's updating. If I go back to the photo with the model, you can see that the graphic designer is there right the design is there on the t-shirt how cool is that and it's like perfectly placed i literally don't have to do anything else let's just go ahead and just change the color of the shirt just because we can right how cool is that we're pressing ok and all we have to do next now is just save this and publish it on our social media right you can go to file save as and save it as a jpeg or png right but literally that is all the power you have in this realistic t-shirt mock-up right let's go ahead and check out another model we have this curly haired girl right here let's go ahead and wait let me first copy my design right and then i can just double click on the smart object that says your design here hit ctrl shift and v or sorry hit ctrl and v to paste my design and just position it a little bit then remember we have to save the smart object for, to, for the changes to be reflected right so ctrl and s to save then we're going to go over to our main project and see if the changes have been updated right here we are and look at that that is almost perfect it's a little bit too big right so i'm just going to go ahead and size it down a little bit Control and t for my transform options and i'm just going to go ahead and just size it down by holding one of the edges right Control and s to save and then let me go back to my models project and see if the changes have been made and yes the changes have been made if we go down to edit all we have to do as you know is change the color if we'd like let's do a, like a light blue 
and see how that looks. That is very, very cool. What do you guys think? And that's all you have to do. Now you have some photos of some real life models modeling your t-shirt designs. Now remember earlier when I said that this video is sponsored by Envata Elements. Envata Elements is the coolest hub, the coolest place to get all of your graphic design templates such as t-shirt mockups, product mockups and much more. I've been using Envato Elements for years now and I use them every single day in my graphic design work. And just for you guys, Envato Elements wants to give you a free trial of their website, a seven day free trial. And within that free trial, you can download unlimited assets, right? Unlimited mockups, unlimited stock music, unlimited stock footage, anything you want unlimited for free for seven days and if you like it they also want to give you 70 percent off a month's subscription from their website 70 percent off you won't find a better deal than that anywhere on the internet all you have to do is click the first two links in this video's description and i also put a link to this particular mockup that i got from Envato elements so you guys can download and edit along with me so have you ever used a realistic t-shirt model mockups before if not let me know what you thought of all that we did here thank you thank you so much for watching this video once again my name is cjamp and i will see you guys in the next video